Jesus said, Man cannot live on bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You're listening to Daily Truth. Discipline belongs, again, to the category of love. When it comes to God as a father, him motivating us towards obedience, not merely because he's determined that obedience is the morally right thing to do, but the morally right thing to do, a.k.a. the law of God, also happens to be the beneficial and prosperous life-giving thing to do, meaning God gives us his law not just because it's morally right, but because it's good, and it's not just good for God and his glory, but it's good for man and our well-being, God motivates us towards this law, which is both right and good. He does this through promise, good news, and threats of judgment, bad news. And neither of that is an absence of love. In fact, it is precisely the opposite. It is because of love that we have text like this, Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26 through 31, that says that God's fury is a fire. This is love. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Love. This is love. This is to warn us. That we would flee, we would flee from unrighteousness and wickedness and sin. And that it would drive us towards that which is not only morally right, but that which is practically and effectively good. Obedience, righteousness, a love and adoration for the law of God that lends towards our flourishing. It lends towards the glory of God, yes and amen, but also the good of human beings made in his image. The fact that God motivates us in two ways rather than merely one is loving on God's part. It is not the absence of love. It is the presence of love that God would not only motivate us with the carrot, but also the stick. That God is going to motivate us in a thorough manner to see to it that none of his children would perish and be destroyed. Big news, really big news. Our next Right Response Conference is in the works. We've got a number of things already lined up and organized. This is what we've got so far. The whole conference, three days long on post-millennialism and theonomy. And the speakers, Dr. James White, Dr. Joseph Boot, Gary DeMar, And of course, yours truly, Pastor Joel Webbin. We've got a great lineup. We've got great topics. If you want to find out dates and location and registration and anything else, go and visit our website, rightresponseconference.com, rightresponseconference.com.